Welcome to WebBikeWorld.com. This is part one of a comparison of four different motorcycle video cameras. I'll quickly run through the basics of each camera in this video, and then part two will compare the video quality taken with each of the video cameras shown here. For all the details, information, photos, and the description of each of these video cameras, please read the full review on WebBikeWorld.com. Here are the four video cameras in this review. First, the AEE MD80, claimed to be the, quote, world's smallest high-resolution video camera, unquote, a standard resolution and very tiny video camera. Next, also made by AEE, is their HD50 video camera with 720p HD resolution. This one includes some nice features, including a live view, which is really handy for motorcycle use because it allows you to see what you're going to record as you're mounting the camcorder. Next is the Midland XTC video camera. This is a simple standard resolution camera that's very easy to use. And finally, the Tachyon XC HD, an HD video camera in a larger waterproof case. Okay, so let's start with the AEE MD80. This is a very tiny SD camcorder that's very simple and easy to use, and it's also very nicely made. On one side is the power on and off button, and on the other side is a Vox activation button, which allows video recording when a sound is heard, and also on that side is the micro SD card port. On the top is the video start stop button, and on the bottom is a full size USB port. The MD80 has an internal rechargeable battery. Switch on the power button, and the MD80 is ready to go. Press the video start button, and the recording starts. It's very easy to use and it's also been very reliable, but like all of these video cameras, this one has a couple of quirks, so be sure to read the full webbikeworld.com review. To stop recording, press the top button again and then turn the power off and you're done. The MD80 comes with a couple of mounting brackets. One is a clip type bracket that can be attached to a flimsy ball mount holder. The ball mount doesn't move through 90 degrees though, so it's of limited use on a motorcycle. The clip bracket allows the MD80 to go on a pocket or something similar. Mounting a video camera on a motorcycle is always an issue. We just haven't found any really good solutions yet. Most of the time we end up cobbing something together with duct tape to get it to mount on a motorcycle or a helmet. The MD80 comes with a little stash bag. It's not much, but it's better than most of the video cameras we've reviewed, which come with nothing. No bag, no storage container, nothing, which is pretty pathetic when you think about it. Next up we have the AEE HD50. This is a more sophisticated HD version of the MD80 and it's also made by AEE. This is a unique design, not really specifically made for motorcycle use either, but it works well and has some high-end features like a live view. The lens is on the front and on one side is the on-off power switch. There's also an AV out jack and a full-sized USB port. And there's even an HDMI port on this one. On the other side, the red button is the video recording on-off button, the Vox on-off button, which we really never use, and a small reset port just in case, and also the micro SD memory card port. The HD50 even has a metal tripod mount, but it's unfortunately too shallow to be of much use. The HD50 is also very easy to use. Turn on the power and the live view comes on. Live view is really handy on a motorcycle because it allows you to line up the camera, compose the video, and then view the video right away to make sure it was taken correctly. The HD50 has a very basic menu system that allows some parameters to be changed, including the video resolution, which can be switched from HD to SD. The HD50 can also take photographs or record voice or sound. Press the center button, even with the video recorder running, and right there I took a photo. The live view allows checking the video that was just shot, so here I'm playing back the video I just recorded. This one comes with a nice remote control also. The camera has a friction fit clip mount that's similar to the type of clip mount provided with the AEE MD80. It's a friction fit and it scratches the camera body, so it's not really very useful. But AEE makes several other mounts for the HD50 that look like they work for motorcycles. The problem is we haven't been able to order any. The HD50 has an internal rechargeable battery and it also comes with a power adapter or it can be charged from a computer. It comes with a fabric bag for storage also. The manual is a PDF file that must be printed, but there's not much to it and this camcorder is easy to figure out and use. Next is the Midland XTC HD. This is a very simple video camera also. It's not HD, it's standard resolution, and it runs on two AAA batteries that fit into the side under the sliding cover. The only control is a slider on top. 
push it forward and it turns the camera on and then starts the recording. Pull it back and it stops the recording and turns off the camera. That's it. On the back is a USB port and the slot for the micro SD card. A waterproof housing is also available as an option for this camcorder. And the camcorder slides into the housing and there's a slider switch on top that operates the camera. The housing has a metal tripod mount and the camera also has a metal tripod mount. The Midland XTC comes with a few mounting accessories, a wrist or a strap mount, a helmet strap mount, and a couple of slide-on vertical mounts. One allows some adjustment in the vertical plane only, and the other mount is a side mount with some horizontal adjustment. Finally, we have the Tachyon XCHD. This video camera is larger than the others, and it's also heavier because the entire housing is waterproof without any accessory housing required. It has a crude menu system on the front, the buttons are stiff to prevent an unexpected activation. It's easy to use. Press and hold down one button to turn on the power, then press the record button and start taking the HD video, which is 720p. Press the button again to stop recording and save. This camcorder can also take time-lapse photos, one photo every two seconds, and that's non-adjustable. The Tachyon XCHD uses an SD-type memory card, and it also uses two AA batteries. The USB port and an HDMI port are located inside the housing. This one comes with a basic helmet mount and the camera slides in, but it has no freedom of movement. It's a fixed position only. It also comes with a very large remote control that uses two AAA batteries. It comes with a side mount for a helmet and a cheap little lens cover that slides over the front. Again, this is yet another camcorder that doesn't come with any type of bag or box to carry it. So that's part one of our review of four new motorcycle video cameras. For all the details, photos, and the full discussion and comparison of these, and for over 1,000 other motorcycle product reviews, please visit webbikeworld.com. Thanks for watching.